In this example, we want to calculate the mean of grouped data. Uh, let's assume that we have the grades of the students given to us in a classified form, and we don't have access to the original uh, grades. The only thing that we know is that two students got a mark between 30 to 40, and four students got a mark between 40 to 50, and so forth. And um, we want to know what is the average of this class. Now, if we had the information about every student, the average of the class would be calculated by adding all of the observations, every x1, x2, xi, uh, summing up all of the numbers, and dividing it by the number of observations. However, in this case, we don't have the original numbers, and we have to find a way to get a best estimate of what would be the average of this class. So what can we do? We want to find out the, the average of these students. And what we know is that two students got a mark between 30 to 40. Now, our best estimate for the mark that they got would be the midpoint of that group, the midpoint of that class. So the midpoint of the group between 30 to 40 is 35, so the grade of the first student, the best estimate for the grade of the first student would be 35. The best esti estimate for the grade of the second student also would be 35. And then we continue. The next four students got a mark in this class, and the midpoint of this class is 45. So the next student, we assume, got 45, and the next student also got 45, and we have four of these students, and then we have nine students who got a grade between 50 and 60, and we will continue this way, and we have to, at the end, divide it by 34, which is the total number of students in this class. This will give us a good estimate of the average of this class. But what we have done here is, in fact, we have calculated um, 2 multiplied by 35. This is the first two numbers. And also we calculated 4 45s, and we continued like that. So this means that for every group, we found the frequent, multiplied the frequency of that group by the midpoint of that group, and we continued like that. And then we divided that by the total number of observations, which is n. And if we summarize that, that means that we have summed up the frequency of multiplication of the frequency of each group multiplied by the midpoint of each group, and then we have divided that by the number of observations. Okay? So this way, we would be able to find a very good estimate of the average of this class. So how we would apply that in Excel worksheet, we will go to uh, the column that we will calculate some of the f multiplied by x, which is the frequency by midpoint, or you can call this cell also f multiplied by m, frequency multiplied by midpoint, and that would be frequency multiplied by the midpoint of this class. And for the next class and so forth, we will do the same thing. So we will copy that formula to all of the cells. Each cell now has the frequency multiplied by midpoint of that cell. And now we want to find the sum of all of these. This gives us the numerator of the formula. This is sum of fi, mi, this cell. And then the next step is that we have to divide sum of fi, mi, divide by the total number of observations. Therefore, we find out that the average grade of this class is 61, 47, 059.